I'm K.W. Keen. The story behind Crystal Blue Persuasion by Tommy James and the Shondells coming up on Rock Music History Lesson. Tommy James, known as the frontman for the Shondells, is a singer, songwriter, musician, and record producer. The band enjoyed hits like Hanky Panky, I Think We're Alone Now, Mirage, Money Money, Crimson and Clover, Sweet Cherry Wine, and Crystal Blue Persuasion. Because it was the 60s, when you recorded a song with a title like Crystal Blue Persuasion, it had to be about drugs, right? Uh, no, it wasn't. What is Crystal Blue Persuasion about? Around the late 60s, James was ready to change his life. He had abused drugs and alcohol, so he became a Christian. The original idea for the title came from a poem a fan wrote for Tommy and the band after a show and gave to them in Atlanta. It was called Crystal Blue. They loved the title, but didn't use the subject matter in the poem. That night, they went back to the hotel room and Tommy, along with Shondell's members Eddie Gray and Mike Vale, wrote the song. To make the rhyming scheme work, it needed one more syllable and blue sounded good. So, Crystal Blue Persuasion was born. The following week, they went into the studio and made the record. Crystal Blue is a reference to the book of Revelation chapter 21, and the imagery is in verse 19 about the beautiful precious stones. In an interview with songfacts.com, James said, quote, the imagery was just right there. Crystal Blue Persuasion, Although those words aren't used together, it was what the image meant to me." Unquote. The lyrics, It's a New Vibration, are about James becoming a Christian. Also, since 1969 was at the height of the hippie movement, the song fit with lyrics like, A new day is coming, people are changing, and there'll be peace and good brotherhood. After the song was completed, Tommy and the band were unsatisfied with the initial recording. James said it was overproduced with a complete set of drums, guitars, and keyboards. After listening, he and the band realized that was not the song they had written. So for the next four weeks, they unproduced the record they had made. They pulled things out and finally, all left was a bongo drum, rhythm guitar and tremolo, a flamingo guitar, and some organ parts. Crystal Blue Persuasion climbed to number two on the Billboard charts in 1969. While working on Crystal Blue Persuasion, James was working with a group called Alive and Kicking and wrote and co-produced the hit single, Tighter Tighter, released in 1970. By the way, Tommy James and the Shondells' previous hit single, Sweet Cherry Wine, is about the blood of Jesus. Tommy James admitted himself into the Betty Ford Clinic in 1986. He's been clean and sober for over 35 years. Make sure you subscribe to our channel, like, share, and check out our website, rockmusichistorylesson.com. Thanks for watching Rock Music History Lesson. I'm KW King.